welcome back to Waffle TV, sponsored by Westphere. I'm Daisy Savage, and today I'm here with Blueswater. How are you? We're all right, thank you. Good. And tell us a bit about your show. Uh, we're doing an entire history of blues music in the space of an hour, at 10.15 every night with a live 12-piece band, and this is our third year at the Fringe doing this show. Cool, and how did you get together as a group? Uh, uh, you want to answer that? Because, well, I met him, I was wandering around in St. Andrews playing instruments like walking around the streets and I think I probably ran into him. <laughs> so were you busking? Uh, no, I just practiced whilst walking around because it's easy to <laughs> do that. <laughs> the way I know is that well pretty much started off as a, a student band in St. Andrews. Most all, all of us were students then and we decided to just start a blues band off the back of a blues jam session that was going on every week. So we put the band together and little by little it just kind of organically evolved from there and then Gordon the way I know Gordon joined up is uh, he would we play in this little bar called Aikman's, and then this random dude came went up to us. He's like, "Oh, can I play harmonica with you? <laughs> would that be all right?" <laughs> We're like, "Yeah, sure, whatever." And then he just destroys it because he really knows his stuff, and that's how Gordon joined on little by little. This is like 30 years ago now. It is something like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's, no, it was a good. Uh, it was, must have been like three years ago, something like that. And then, uh, and then when we got serious about more serious about the band and did the first our first fringe run in 2011, we asked Gordon to really come on a more serious role and to do more work with us as well. And it's kind of gone from there. But yeah, slowly the, the lineups changed over the years because people graduate or people move or whatever. Uh, but yeah, we make do and we just do our thing for the fringe. And do you think that blues is something that's perhaps underappreciated today? It's very strange. You could. If you're looking at blues just within the UK, the actual UK blues scene, as you would call the scene itself, is completely isolated from everything else. It's really weird. It's like its own little, it's like its own little island. But outside of the island, you've got a couple blues bands that you could call blues bands that are doing stuff within the kind of festival circuit in general. And you're seeing more, it's happening more and more prominently now. Um, and you've got a couple bands kind of picking up and starting to get famous. Like Jake Bug is a great example of that, for example. You wouldn't have had a guy like that uh, being a, a well-known name uh, a few years ago. But it seems to be kind of making a comeback in a good way. So I think that interest in older style blues is picking up again, which is really nice. Uh, so yeah, I'd say there's definitely a place for it right now in the current blues and the current music scene that we're getting in the UK. Why did you put the show together as a sort of history? Because it's almost like a lesson. Because um, I don't know that much about it, but I learned quite a lot from the show. Um, yeah, go for it, Gordon. Gordon knows his blue stuff better than I do. I don't know why we have it as a lesson. <laughs> we could just, yeah, it's, I suppose it gives you something more than just a concert. With the fringe, you have to do something a bit more. <laughs> and how do you cope with so many shows in one period? We just, we just turn up we every just keep day. Going. Keep going. <laughs> do you have problems? Because you obviously sing. Do you have problems with your voice? I, I, no. I am <laughs> able to somehow find the stamina. I'm um, definitely been able to train up my voice as the years have gone by, yeah. so that it holds up well. This fringe, I've had no problems whatsoever, yeah, yeah. and there were some nights where I've been gigging five hours, and nope, next day I'm totally fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've uh, been fine. There's been no. Yeah. And we've had very few, in terms of like you know what we're like what some of us are really going through we've had very few sort of bad throats or injuries or anything like that people have been able to just kind of keep going and keep going and keep going some nights we're more tired than others but we've been able to really do it and i think we're looking we're probably looking at over 50 gigs over the course of the fringe uh it's pretty intense but so far so good um and what are your plans for the band after the fringe well a load of us are some of us are moving away, but there'll be a, a core of us who are going to like, um, like be more creative and write stuff. And we've got I'm training in other instruments as well. <laughs> yeah. There's a mandolin player is coming up. <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. yeah. Um, we the idea is to we want to start writing more original material, probably under a new project name, but also keep the blues band going as well, uh, and kind of build up beyond the fringe into kind of dates that we've been able to get booking for next year. We're already receiving bookings for festivals next year um, and getting a bunch of cool stuff for later this year as well. So it just looks good, so we're just going to keep doing our thing. It's really exciting. Yeah, yeah. great. Well, thanks very much for talking to us. Uh -huh. Cool. And if you'd like to see the show, it's at quarter past ten uh, on Niji Street at The Space. Yeah, thanks very much. <laughs>